I don't like flying. But Amy flew up to New Hampshire by herself. Um, I had some things, personal things going on here with family members that I stayed behind. And she said, you know, this is probably our last opportunity to visit New Hampshire. And we had never been to the White Mountains yet. And I, uh, I didn't want to waste the opportunity. I didn't want Amy to have to be up there alone. Uh, so, yeah. Of course I went. I got on a plane and I'm pretty proud of myself. I actually uh, flew on a plane by myself, which was terrifying. Terrifying because I just... Stay on the white stuff. White stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna make it very far from those spikes. It's all frozen over there. Oh wow. <laughs> She's about to fall and bust her butt. I'm just sliding. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said you gotta go up in the snow here. It's a great idea. No, oh, did you just see me slide? People are just, I have a feeling there's other people watching us. Like them people over there. Oh, okay. They're just waiting for us to slip and fall and yeah. bust your butt. They're going those flurry ends or sit down. Hey? Yeah. I just want to know how you can get down. <sighs> We're at Flume Gorge. I think it's in New Hampshire. Is it in New Hampshire? And uh, we don't have any spikes for our shoes. Ooh, there's ice. It's cool. So, uh, ice. Oh, we tried to walk. We made it all the way to right here. <laughs> yeah, Avalanche Falls. I know. We need to come back. Come back. We weren't prepared to hike at all, plain and simple. We decided to go down the trail a little ways anyway. I convinced Amy, we can do it. I did it, you can do it. She's very hesitant, I was too really. And we almost slipped a couple of times on the way there, it's funny. You know, it'll give us a reason to go back to New Hampshire one day. We hit the road, it was a beautiful, beautiful ride through, through the park and we came up to a little town of Bethlehem. Amy booked this uh, cabin at this place called Presidential Mountain Resort, just outside of the Presidential Mountain Range, which I guess is pretty popular. We found it very easily. Uh, they were closed when we got in there, but they gave us instructions when we called, very nice. And Amy parked the Jeep after a few tries backing it up. We, we went inside and chilled out for a little bit inside the cabin, and this is what it looked like.
going in the lake, guys. Leave me alone. We're, I don't know what I'm doing. We're going in the lake. Oh, not. Maybe, Amy almost drove us into the frozen lake. No, did not. She's going to attempt to back up in the spot, but she's going this way. Over into the cabin. <laughs> Back up in the 12. Oomp, snow. Ah, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all saw it here first. <laughs> it's as good as it gets. All snow right. bank. She partners in a snow bank. This is our rental. Sweet. <clears throat> she said something about it turning funny or something. Ooh. Ooh. Nice and toasty. Oh. Welcome. Okay. Alright. Ooh, we got that. Let's check out that curtain. Alright. Wait. Yeah? Yeah. Is that a fireplace? Oh, those are for your boots, huh? Maybe you broke the mat. Thanks. <laughs> nice little table here. Pretty cool. Beautiful artwork. Nice. Little cavity feel. Got the couch. This, oh, it's nice and warm. Got a microwave, sink. Ooh, coffee. Coffee's always good. Nice refrigerator. Check it out. There's a bedroom. A little dresser. Heater. The most important part, Amy said, the back porch. Woo! A couple of chairs. Look at this view. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. That one's up a little higher. Me and Amy are going to walk across the ice. Well, I'm gonna stay back here and film her as she walks. See how far she gets out there. Got a neat little bridge. What do you think? I like it. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Don't throw it at me. <laughs> it's a pine cone. Look, I guess they want us to keep separated. There's a chair here. <laughs> chair there. My chair way over here. I guess Amy told him to do that. Huh? Got a massive playground over here, huh? Oh, woo! Oh, I got bears on the bed. There's a moose. There's your moose. Bear, big bear. Moose. Got the uh, the light thing. What is that? That's cool. Y'all see that? <laughs> Cabin number 12. Oh, it's super cold out here. Oh, Frozen Lake, Echo Lake, the mountains. Huh? No. Hurry up. Hurry up, I can't feel my hand. I can't. Oh, hey. oh my god, I'm on the lake. <laughs> 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 ah, my hand is really hot. Yeah, it's freezing. It's freezing. I gotta let go. Okay. You done? Yeah. Hold it for the picture, ready? One, two. Uh -huh. The world's biggest dork. <laughs> oh, look. There's snow. Yeah, I know. Like snow. Like big time snow. Like right in the snow. Do you see it? Can you take my picture? Can you see the snow even if, I te if you take a picture? <laughs> I'm videotaping you. Oh. <laughs> I want a picture. I got your picture. That was... So much fun. It was. It snowed. Ugh. Now I'm just wet. Ugh. That was cool. What? That was so cool. Why? Because it's... Oh. 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 Oh.
it supposed to snow today? Amy booked us a uh, an event that night, uh, an ice castle. And I was like, an ice castle? She's like, yeah. She started showing me some pictures from the website, and I was like, where is this at? That's pretty cool. So it was it wasn't very far, maybe uh, twenty minutes, you know, uh, into the next town, and we we were there. This ice castle, very unique, uh, very unique experience. They even had a bar that. Uh, uh, we, we went and we got some hot, uh, I don't know if I'm going to say this right, hot bourbon cider, I think is what we had. Anyway, it was cool. It was like a, a actual bar and then they had like a frozen uh, bourbon bottle outside of the bar and just, just neat. They had little fire pits everywhere, little tables built out of ice that you could, you know, just sit there and chill. And we took a carriage ride on, uh, with some horses. We had we, we had a lot of fun. We had a blast, and Amy got to go down a couple of slides, and I went with her and just got totally soaked from the from the waist down. Just as soon as you hit that ice, is like. Whoa. To your eyes, I see we're out of time. I guess no one's to blame, nobody crossed the line. I guess we couldn't see, somehow we couldn't feel. Maybe we rose too fast, maybe we got too high. But I got to catch a flight back home but uh, Amy's talking about cable cars so we may have one more adventure in store um, before we go home look one more time at this view so in bed sit up and you're like woohoo 
Cafe. What's the Hungry Bear Cafe? I don't know. It's closed to here and has breakfast. Okay. Sure. Because we probably won't eat until we get to Logan again. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at these, uh... <clears throat> My boots were really clean. Were. And uh, <laughs> they're super muddy. We're gonna be like on the plane with muddy feet. So Amy wanted to know what happens to the fish. <laughs> when the lake freezes over. <laughs> what, 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 what happens to the fish? Do they freeze? I don't know, I, don't know. I didn't Google it yet. <laughs> I, I gotta Google it. Hold on. Do they freeze? I don't know. That's... She's going to Google it and see what Siri says. Hey, Siri. What happens to the fish when a lake freezes over? Let's see what it says. It says some species like koi and gobies may burrow into soft sediments and go dormant like frogs and other amphibians, but most fish simply school in the deepest pools and take a winter rest. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's not frozen all the way in the bottom, huh? No. Just the top. I think they look like this. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> and then then when it when it when it gets warmer. Well, we won't be back to New Hampshire in a long time. Like June. <laughs> when we go up to Canada. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Canada. We are headed to the Hungry Bear Cafe. Up here. Where are we at? Right here? Uh -huh. We're in Franconia right now. Somewhere. Franconia. Yeah, we're right there. We stayed mm -hmm. here. Stay there. There's a Lincoln. 93 down. What? We took 93 down. Oh, hey, there's Wood, Woodstock and Plymouth. They do have moose. There's one right there. Oh. And there's another moose. <laughs> and that's the only moose we've seen in New Hampshire. Besides all the signs where it says moose crossing every hundred feet. But no moose.
get full. It just came out of nowhere. <laughs> Did you get your 25 bucks for it? I I got a new beanie <laughs> and it's much warmer a lot warmer we just we made it we lived through a cable car experience how was your cable car experience <laughs> great <laughs> it was good we went up like 4,000 some feet in the middle of middle of uh, a white blizzard look like a blizzard very low visibility. You're supposed to be able to see three states in Canada from up there, but... You couldn't see nothing today. Yeah. We saw Echo Lake on the way down. Yeah. That was pretty cool. All mountain. Artist bluff one mile. I guess Amy has got us climbing all the way up there to the summit. Pretty sure a lot of ice though. Could use some spikes. I mean, all the way. Did it? I did it. I did it. 2,298 feet. Really? Yeah. Rock scramble. Yep. Amy's favorite. For some reason. Just the view. That's Echo Lake. There's the uh, White Mountains, the mountain that we went up in earlier in the cable car. Right there. And. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful. My hand's about frozen. <laughs> My hand's about frozen. Oh, it's pretty though. fall in. Oof. That'd be cold. Well, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. We got a lot more videos coming up. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff planned for this remaining remainder remainder of 2024. And uh, in the 2025, uh, we got a big Canada trip we have planned uh, coming up soon and a few other secrets. Amy wants to start this new series called In Our Backyard. So basically we'll have videos and some journal entries on our website, guides, journals, whatever you want to call them. I like to write about our adventures so you can see the video and you can go enjoy uh, me writing about it. How about that? That's uh www.thetatestravel.com You have to put the in there because, you know, there's another company named Tate's Travel for some reason. So we're the Tate's Travel. So that way you know. <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and do so now. Hit the like button because it means a lot. 
lets us know that you're you're still here and you, you like the video. I don't know. Give us a comment and tell us about your adventures and where we should go next. And cause we got a lot of trips coming up, and uh, you know how Amy likes to fit in every single thing we can do possibly on our trips. We're we're going to this location. But along the way, there's like five or ten things we can see. We'll fit it in. It's really, really fun to be married to my wife. I love her to death, and she's an awesome planner. But enough. We'll see you in the next video. See you later.